Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Delicious. This is Shruta. So I'm back with another delicious evening snack, and it's called masala potato fries. For all you potato lovers out there, this is a must try. So without further delay, let's get started. So I've taken three medium-sized potatoes which are peeled. Now we're going to cut them into medium-sized bits. So for that, first we have to cut the edges, and again cut them like this. Now start cutting them vertically. So repeat the same step for the rest. Now another important step is to put them in some cold water so that they don't change the color. So repeat the same step for the rest. Cut them into vertical sticks. and immediately drop them in some cold water so after it's done for all the potatoes leave them for around 5 to 10 minutes so the starch is completely released so the next step is to take a dry cloth and spread the potato pieces on top i prefer you to put them in batches so that it's easy Now cover the cloth and gently pat dry them for roughly 20 to 30 seconds. Now open the cloth. Yes, mine potatoes are completely dry now transfer them into a bowl so repeat the same for the rest and after it's done let's start doing the coating for the coating add in 3 tablespoons of corn flour 2 tablespoons of maida and salt to taste now coat them all properly and guys please be gentle we don't want to break the pieces okay so after it's done keep this aside for around 15 to 20 minutes and let's deep fry them so in a small pan i'm going to add Add some oil and heat it up. And now, with my mom's help, I have just added in potato pieces and frying them on medium gas for around two to three minutes till they get slightly golden brown. So you can see after two to three minutes, they got slightly golden in color. That's when you have to take it out. and put it into a tissue bowl So now these are ready let's start doing the saucing So for doing the saucing in a pan I am going to be adding in 2 tablespoons of oil and let the oil heat up Once the oil is heated we're going to be adding in Half a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of ginger. Now sauté these for a few seconds, and now we're going to be adding quarter a cup of finely chopped onions. Now sauté 
the onions until it's transparent. Now we are going to be adding in some ginger garlic paste, one fourth teaspoon. Again, start sauteing it until it's slightly cooked. The onions are slightly cooked. Now let's add in chili flakes and oregano. Guys, trust me, it's going to take this dish to the next level with these two ingredients. So please don't miss it. So once done sauteing them, now we're going to be adding in some sauces, starting with red chili sauce, one tablespoon. Green chili sauce, one tablespoon, and two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Oh, I almost forgot. One four teaspoon of soya sauce. Now stir all them really well. So once the sauces are well combined, we're going to be adding in some masala, starting with garam masala. Dry mango powder, also called amchur powder, and a pinch of salt. Guys, please do not add lots of salt because the sauces and the masala already contains good amount of salt, so it won't be required. So mix them all well, and now we're going to be adding in corn flour mixture. What I've done is I have taken one tablespoon of corn flour and mixed it with two tablespoons of water. Now add this mixture into the pan and stir it really well. So in case the uh, it gets too thick after adding the corn flour mixture, you can add in some water and thin it down. Now cover the lid and on low flame cook it for 1 minute. So after one minute, the sauces will be perfectly cooked. Now just again give it a good stir. And we're going to be adding in the fried potato pieces in and toss them. Wow, that looks so delicious guys. Now let's take this onto our serving plate. Now let's taste! Mmm! Guys, that tastes so delicious! You know what? I want to eat everything up on my own. But before that, if you enjoyed watching this video, please show me your love and support by giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more such wonderful recipes. Also, do share your experience and feedback in the comment section. So much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Till then.